Do you see a glasses case there? Yeah. And you, I just, I'll, no, those are sunglasses. No, I'll give you, I'll, I'll give you time signals using fingers. When you get down to one minute, I'll use the index finger. <laughs> Yes, sir. All right. My topic is on uh, Southern California water efficiency. Uh, Southern California is a dry desert-like region, although we're accustomed to seeing endless amount of trees, grass, palm trees, and water features. Uh, green front yards, we are inhabitants of uh, what used to be an arid-like uh, desert region. Uh, where do we get our water from? Uh, for example, according to the Municipal Water District of Orange County webpage, 50% of our water is uh, allocated from the Colorado River and through the state water project which pumps water from the northern California down to south. Uh, being dependent from uh, outside water sources uh, does not guarantee a stable future for uh, Southern California. Uh, local governments should actually are actually responsible for finding new strategies for serving water. Uh, for example, local governments should regulate efficient household water use through imposing penalties or fines for customers who do not use water excessive, who use water excessively and inappropriately. Uh, uh, water, to kind of put into perspective, uh, Association of California Water Agency claims that the average year, 200 million acre feet of water falls in California, but due to water evaporation and uh, water or the use of native vegetation, and the ones that soak into the ground, only 82 million acre feet of water is available. So a uh, million acre feet means, uh, so imagine you have an acre and then you just take a depth and foot and fill up water that's uh, an acre foot. So just a million of those is how much uh, a million acre feet is. And also an acre foot also has 300, 326,000 gallons of water. And that's the same amount that two families use annually. All day. Okay, also uh, for population, according to the to the RAND, a nonprofit institution that helps improve policy and decision making through research and analysis, uh, it estimates that by 2040 there will be a 46.9 uh, population increase for Southern California, or actually all California. This means that Southern California must act in order to be able to supply adequate water for the future. Uh, household water inefficiency. The average person in California uses about 195 gallons of water uh, per day. That's also 71 gallon, 71,000 gallons a year. Uh, most people use two to five gallons just in brushing their teeth, and another 15-25 is used to take in showers or baths. Uh, according to the WECA and the Water Education Awareness Committee, uh, if people water their lawns 8 a.m. to reduce in the a.m., it will reduce evaporation, and that will save 225 gallons a day. Uh, but people will not do it because the price is so cheap and inexpensive. Uh, one local water agency, and once local water agency and government policies become strict, there will be several things that Californians can do to get to not not to get penalized, and it's fairly easy. For example, uh, just replacing uh, your toilets, uh, checking faucets for pipes and leaks. A small drip from a worn faucet washer can waste 20 gallons of water per day. Uh, take short showers, shorter showers. A four minute shower <coughs> actually takes about 20 to 30 gallons uh, per shower. And if you're a 30 minute person, it'll probably take about 200 gallons. Uh, use a dishwasher and clothes washer for only, only a full load so you can save water. Uh, put a layer of mulch around your trees. That will help uh, keep the ground moist and you don't have to use as much water for your plants. And uh, don't run a hose while washing your car. Just shut it off, use a bucket. Uh, use a broom, not a hose, to wash your sidewalk and driveways. Uh, not, only, well, not only is it in our best interest to conserve water, according to H2O Africa Foundation, one child dies every 15 seconds due to polluted and scarce water resources. Also, uh, women and girls often dedicate their days, just the entire day, just to go walk and find water. Uh, and also, the water might be polluted. So, like I said, it's not only in our best interest, but it's more of an ethical. Uh, thing to do to conserve water. Uh, strict water policies work. Water efficiency is an issue that cannot be overlooked. Local governments should strictly regulate water efficiency practices, and they benefit from doing so. The money that from the fines it can be used for uh, 
water education programs, also for uh, fixing, uh, repairing water infrastructure to ensure the future generations uh, can be used for repairing water infrastructure to ensure the future generations to have that drink of water. And that's it.